are here, and we're here with Subnautica. I'm sure you guys have heard of this game um, before. It's a underwater survival exploration game. It's really good. It's really fun. It's still in its early development build, so it's it's full release on Steam though right now, and they're still working on it. I don't know if that's full release. Uh, don't hate me in the comments if that's wrong. But so basically, there's like survival, creative, hardcore, free, free. So. out there and there's a fire explosion so basically we just escaped from a sh our ship that just got shot down apparently and our pod is on fire grab the fire extinguisher right there grab it okay now we have it get the fire go go and that doesn't look good either okay what are we supposed to do now okay here's our data that screen in emergency Reach mode, survivor. No, this this sounds good. Not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize you with it. Well, we're here, and if we noticed in the log it said hostile world so yeah <clears throat> we're on a hostile planet with our ship that is currently on fire so we're in a good situation in a water planet and total failure on our ship and there's no no life forms that have been found so yay so I think we have to restore power. So power is down. No, power is not down. The lights are down. This is the power cell. So we're getting power from that. So the fabricator. This is where we're gonna make all of our stuff, <coughs> basically for like everything. I we we have a storage unit right here that has food and flares and water. So we'll get on that. And then we have a scouting position. Over there. I don't know what that is. I don't remember. But we are like pod five. As you can see right here. So this is what we will be living in for a while. And we're in the water. This is like an amazing game. It's very beautiful. So basically I want to find yeah, that's what I wanted to find. So we have titanium that we have we have quartz. I'm gonna need this, the quartz, and titanium. I am gonna need a lot for this game. And we're gonna need to find something. Those I don't want to be around. Because wait, I'm gonna show you. So, oh, we have not. Oh, so you still have an oxygen. Look, yeah, see those, see those things? They, they, they don't, they're not good. They, they explode gas, and you can get knocked out from them. But here we find some fish. Give me, give me you. Yeah, there we go. So we found a peeper fish. And we need this guy. I'll show you what he does. So we're gonna go back to our base right now because we're pretty low on hunger right now. I'm gonna grab this guy. So this is a crash site. Oh, here's one. That's gonna be used. That was scrap. For one emergency. For a titanium. Of oxygen. Oh, remaining. oxygen. <clears throat> okay. Oh wow, it's dark in here. So let's get substances, cooked food. Let's cook up a peeper fish for food. And that's all we have. But for water, we can use that other fish 
the bladder fish, this thing down here, to make water. So, that's going to be most of our water supply for right now, until we get a bigger supply. Until we get what we need now. Yeah, so we just need that, and we need that, just so we have enough, and then, what else is this? Oh, attention. Detecting increased lethal radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continue to monitor. So the ship has is radiated and uh, because of the the nuclear power drive apparently. And we're stuck here. On a planet that is underwater with my homie ladderfish. Yup. And those guys. They're like laughing at me. Stop. Dude, just be able to stay away. Thank you. Yeah. So we're in a really good situation. I know I keep saying that, but we're actually not in a really good situation. We're in a terrible situation. I mean, if you guys ever ended up like this yourselves, I mean, we obviously don't have this technology today, but if we did, would you want to be stranded on an underwater world with unknown surroundings all around you? No. No, you wouldn't. That would be the answer. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on who you are. Okay, so we need this first aid kit to heal for what's to come. So the first thing I think I want to get is the repair tool, which that requires magnesium crayfish powder, crash fish powder, and titanium. So I think I know how to get the crash fish. Um, so we have to find a cave. Oh, by the way, those are like kelp forests. Oh, here, those are the bombs. And I'm gonna need some of this. Oh, okay, that's perfect. So I need one of those, but I need a scanner to scan the fragment. So then we can make that, which I'll show you later. And I see a scanner. Oh, so he took that. that was oh, gonna go for that. Remaining. Oh, oxygen. I don't. No, no, don't come over here. I know, you just hurt yourself. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was blacking out there. Okay, so later we're gonna need a big oxygen tank, because that is not good for me. Hi, 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 no, stop, no. Keep your teeth to yourself and your mouth, oh gosh. No, no, no. Back up, back up, thank you. You're a good boy. Good, you something. So we have acid mushroom and quartz. I'm gonna need that. Get some more quartz. Next. Creature egg? I don't know. Acid mushrooms. Oh, this guy. This guy. Oh, oxygen. Dang it. We're gonna die to oxygen. Yeah, I think we're gonna be dying to oxygen. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna come down here. Oh, there's wood. So this is salt. I think I need three of those to make a magnesium, which is what I need for the well here. Oh, there's two more salt. One, go two. Oh, there's a ton of salt in here. Okay, so that's all we need for now. Ooh, what's this one here? Emergency. Ten seconds. Oh, that's good. Another sea glide. Remaining. Fragment. Oh, my bird's over there. Mm, mm, mm. Get to the surface, get to the surface. Okay. Good. So we already found like two of the fragments that we're gonna need. We need to get the welder so we can repair them. I might wanna get the scanner first though, because we can get a lot of fragments. Uh it's scary on like the green creators are huh, are mean to us during the night. Because there's like certain stuff that glows, and then the stuff that doesn't glow is the stuff that wants to kill you. So yeah, isn't that fun? Okay, come in here. 
nothing in here. Let's see. So let's look. Well, there's nothing in here because I can't turn it off. Because there's no signals. I think I need to fix that. Let's get the titanium from that. Um battery, copper, I need copper. Okay, so let's see the scanner. I need a battery for that. I, I can go find some copper. That's pretty easy to make. Oh gosh, not the night van. No night van. That is still on fire even though it's underwater. Or I guess it's like molten. <clears throat> but it's still not good. Uh, <laughs> Okay, oxygen is good still. So I think we need to go back to those crops and maybe get the line start. It would be really nice if we could get a flashlight because it's really dark down here. Hmm. I don't see any outcrops. May cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment. Seven percent. Fight physical injury. Oh, oxygen, oxygen. No, 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 no. Nourish it. Oh gosh, that was close. Probability of death increases to sixty five percent. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, thanks for reminding me now. That really helps. Yeah, see, that's what we need the repair tool for. See, it says use repair tool underneath the damage communications, and this has been used repair tool also. I think this is where the fire extinguisher was, and I don't want this sitting here anymore. With the okay, let's come down here. I'm gonna find more of that outcrop, and if this is a sea glide, I'm gonna be happy. It's not. It's not. It's not. No. Is this one? No. Okay. Where is an outcrop? I really need it to be. Oh, it's turning day. No, that. Is that the moon? Or is it turning day? It's turning day. It's turning day. We will live. Okay. No, that was. Oh, okay. So that was really good. And we're gonna come back up here. So I'll, I'll be right back when I have all the stuff. Okay, guys, we're back, and we have. I made a battery, so now we should be able to make the scanner. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go out and try to see if I can find those things again. Alright guys, I found one. Here we go. Scan that. Sea glide. Let's see. Oh, I have 50, so I only need two. So that's good, because we know there's another one around this zone somewhere. Or maybe it's on the other side. Might be on the other side. Dang it. Please, please. Yes, it's the sea glide. So, if you guys haven't seen anybody else's series, then you don't know what this does, but it's really, really good. But I think I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here. Or we'll come back to it in the next video and let's save here. So, you guys, I got the scanner, and I got the sea glide. I'll do a little bit of grinding, and get the materials for the sea glide, and I hope we'll have it when we come back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.